As a kid, I loved playing outside, and um, my two brothers and I would just just sort of use our imaginations outside. Um, and outdoors, you can be anything. You know, you can be. Um, you could drive a spaceship, you could be the captain of a ship, you could, you know, be a police officer. And so uh, we loved to climb trees, we loved to explore nature. We had these beautiful woods in our backyard, and so we would sort of get lost in that. And um, I, I was just inspired by being connected to nature in that way, and just having the freedom to use my imagination to, to be anything. I was fascinated by ants. I would watch them outside, and so they would um, like crawl on the back porch and in a straight line. And so one time I sort of ran my finger through and I noticed that the line stopped and it was like they were confused. And I was like, that's weird. Like, can't they just see that the ant's like right there in front of them? And that was when I realized that they left some type of trail. And so then I'd go through and like start running my finger and I noticed that they got confused and then eventually they'd find their way back to each other. Um, and so I loved watching ants because I loved how they worked together and how they would sort of communicate. And uh, I'd love to watch them carry big things because I thought these little tiny things are like carrying this big beetle. Like how in the world do they do that? Um, so ants fascinated me as a kid. Even though I grew up with this connection to biology, uh, I found that I was really great at mathematics when I got to high school. Uh, I took some AP courses. One of them was AP Calculus and I really gravitated toward math. But I didn't know any people who looked like me who did math, and so I didn't really think anything of it until uh, I got to Spelman College, and which is a historically black college for women. And I met black women mathematicians for the first time, and I was like, oh, oh, this is something I can do. Okay, great. Um, and so that's sort of what got me excited about math, and then they sort of kept me on the path. I mean, they really mentored me and pushed me to go as far as I could. I often gazed at stars because in my mind, they were really small. It was later that I found out that they were these big balls of, you know, this gas. Um, but at the time, they just looked so teeny and tiny and touchable. And I always would sort of wonder, especially when they would twinkle, like what was happening? And I, I mean, I didn't really understand about how light was traveling at the time, but it was like, oh, that's cute, that little twinkle star. And it's like, if you were close to that, you'd be dead, Talithia. I didn't know the moon was round until later. And so, you know, as a kid, when you see a half moon or, you know, I just think like that was the, oh, the moon is shaped like a banana, you know, and it was later I was like, wait a minute, it's just the way that the light hits the moon. I'm sure we all had that thought as children. But so, yeah, I was always sort of amazed looking at space and, and I loved seeing how my thoughts developed as I got older and understood how things worked. We didn't have cable as a kid. Um, sorry, mom, dad, for calling us out. We watched public television because it was either that or, you know, the news. And uh, so my brothers and I grew up watching PBS. And as I got older, I started watching Nova and um, I was just inspired, you know? And that was, that was how, in my mind, books came alive when I watched PBS. Because growing up, we had books, but they weren't as exciting. And there wasn't a lot of shows that did a lot of science animation. And so it was my imagination or it was sort of a, a more boring scientific book. Nova was like, here's what it looks like. Like, here's how you can imagine science. And, um, you know, here's how we can, you know, show you what a black hole really looks like. And so for me as a kid, that was really amazing because all of a sudden, my imagination now had a visual image to go with it. I'm so excited to do Nova Wonders because I really want to be an example for the scientists that came before me and for the kids who are coming after me. And so I grew up watching these scientists on television talk about their work, uh, be excited about their work. And I remember as a little girl, you know, watching them and thinking, oh my gosh, like they get to spend their whole life exploring what I daydream about. And so for me to have the opportunity to be that example for the next generation is so exciting. Mm -hmm.